Hello everyone, how's it going? Today we're going to look into Aqua Bounty Technologies and this is into manufacturing of genetically modified salmon. So first thing for and foremost, I'll go into the positives. I'll go into the company statistics, what the company accounts look like, what they're doing. And then I'll also give out the negatives about this company, what could go wrong with them. And then we will see where, what we feel about it. So the first thing about the stock itself, so just in one day, it has grown about 40%. And uh, it looked like there were about 30 million shares that were traded yesterday itself, just yesterday. And uh, the most important thing with them is ARK investments. They are very much interested into them. So this is being held by the ARK G, which is the Genomic Revolution Multisector ETF. And if you go under the fund, right under line number 36, you can see Aqua Boundary Technologies is being held by Arc Technologies and they have about 5 million shares and they've been buying this the same stock right when it was $2 on the market. So they've been buying, they've been loading up the stock. So Arc has been very bullish about this. Now let's see what are the positives about this. So Aquabonti is basically in the manufacturing of production of genetically modified Atlantic salmon and uh, they, they have uh, created this genomic format where they're able to create, where they're able to you know, produce salmon, which is three times better, three times faster than the regular salmon. So I found this video, this is by the PBS News Hour, this was conducted last year. And this is at the aqua at the aqua bounty farms and you can see this fish over here and this over here both of them are of the same year i think they're two years old if i remember correctly and both of them are two years old only and you can see the size of the aqua bounty fish and the size of this fish so almost three the times. difference is and this significant fish is ready for market. these fish are both However, this about fish two has years quite old a bit of days to go it's through. really hard to believe so that's that's what aqua monty is their man they're manufacturing these genetically modified salmon now many people might not like the sound of it people are calling it as franken fish but looking at from the production point of view looking at how the markets might take it i mean right now we are consuming so much of gmo products and the, the right from the milk we drink to the vegetables that we use even the meat to an extent is all genetically modified so this is this is a technology which is being embraced which is being now being main it's gone into the mainstream and people are adopting to it so uh, in a few years i mean this this is something which uh, people will be very very open to now a few good things about the company now, uh, of course, they have a niche. They are into genetically modified salmon, and this is going to help them in increase of production and uh, going into the market very fast. Aqua Bounty is right now uh, being led by this person, Sylvia Wolf. She's the president and CEO, and she recently joined them. Now, it's, she's not an old uh, employee, but very recently. You can see on her LinkedIn profile, she joined on the January 29, 2019, last year. And before that, she was the president of Stockyards and the senior vice president of merchandising at U.S. Food Services. Now, U.S. Food Services is the second largest food service distributor in the United States. So they, they have been, and that's the background she's going to get, she's, she's bringing to Aqua Bounty. And before that, she was again at Guardian Food Technologies. So her background, her network with the distribution services, with the, that's what Aqua Bounty is, was interested in and that and the board of directors hired her for that purpose. And uh, looking at her profile, uh, you can definitely see where Aqua Bounty is going into. Now, in this same video, with the PBS video, they also went over the fact that uh, about back in 2015, 2016, companies like Costco and many other retail giants, they vowed that they would not sell a fish like this. They would not go into ge selling genetically modified fish. And of course, Costco, Walmart, all these retail giants are the main source of you know, uh, peer purchases for people. And for them to say no to genetically modified fish, then that causes a lot of effort, a lot of pressure on Aqua Bounty especially for people embracing it but with the background of sylvia wolf especially with her knowing the distribution network her food services distribution directly to the consumers through the retail places that is what brings it you know, it makes it more exciting because now they don't need the retail places 
and uh, this uh, the person the background which this person is bringing to the table for this particular for this company is definitely very valuable and uh looking at yes the stock for yesterday itself it just went in 40 percent which is uh, phenomenal this is just the starting of this uh, company this is what i feel personally now why why do i feel that there's a long long way to go for them uh, aqua bounty if you go into their website and if you go into the about us page you can see that they right at the inception this happened about 20 25 years ago 1989 is when they initially started off with the research in 1991 that's when the company was formed and they started working on it and they've been working on this platform on this technology ever since so they have been perfected and working on it and this company has been in existence since then and this is a good thing and a bad thing so far they have not been able to become profitable they have not been even able to sell their products only this year uh, right uh, they went uh, back in september when they came out with their quarterly report they showed a prof they showed revenue of about 65 to 68 thousand only last year they had no revenue so they did not sell any of their products so so far they are just into research and development and making their technology and slowly now they are they're going into you know, selling, commercializing, and selling out their products. And I think that's why Sylvia Wolf was hired only last year, because now the company thought they might be going into and you know, uh, expanding into the commercial sector. So th that's, and that's a good thing to look into. Uh, now, right now, they don't have anything on the table. They don't, they're not selling out. But any small move they do from now on, like it could be uh, creating a new distribution in this state or a new distribution in Illinois. Right now, they are based in Indiana in, U in the United States. It's originally a Canadian company, and they are now opening up another third plant in Kentucky. And uh, they are the, uh, the plans for the first quarter of 2021 is to open up that plant in uh, Kentucky or start the uh, digging or start the building up of that plant. So any small move they make from now on, that'll be a catalyst for the stock. So any any small move, that'll jump up the stock. Uh, like yesterday, the 40 person, some, someone, uh, the big, um, it's probably the institutions, or it could be that new filings were done with the SEC that caused the stock to jump up. But it, it's you know, there is quite a bit of movement going on and people are trying, and it's catching the interest of the big people now. I mean, uh, if ARK Investment is also, uh, you know they they have it as on their portfolio so there are bigger institutions also looking into it now <clears throat> coming back to the website coming back to aqua Ponte's page so they are expanding and uh not just domestically they're also looking at uh, international market uh they have uh fda approvals or they're taking approvals from brazil uh, israel and uh, they also have approval for doing field trials in china so those are all avenues China is the second biggest market for, us, uh, for salmon, Atlantic salmon, and that's a very good market for them to expand. And uh, especially with global warming, the uh, aquatic life, uh, people and uh, the fishes who are uh, it's very difficult to you know, grow and maintain salmon. And salmon for the United States, uh, salmon, uh, since it's endangered in the United States, the Atlantic salmon, uh, ocean salmon, the, their people are not allowed to fish. So salmon is being imported from Chile, from Canada, from Norway, and this the salmon that we eat, it's being imported from all these places. So the carbon footprint, the amount of transportation, the amount of uh, investment that goes into the transportation of these fishes, bringing down to the United States, it's a huge carbon print. And uh, to, to for us to grow this, for Equamonte's ability to grow the salmon right here, and especially close to the market. So they're right now they're in Indiana, they're opening up another one in Kentucky, like that, the no more number of plants they open up, their plants would be closer right to the end consumer market. So it brings fresh fish, it reduces the carbon print, it reduces the transportation cost. And so the, oh, you're reducing your overhead cost, and that's very good for the stock. Uh, uh, Ron Stottage, this is the chief uh, technical officer for the company. I, I believe he has already retired. And, uh, he has been 
leading the company for a long time now. Uh, now, Sylvia Wolf is, of course, the uh, chief executing officer. They, they also have FDA approval, so that's another good thing. But they already have uh, approval about uh, how the FDA goes in. Now, the, what are the negatives about this company? The first thing is that they're not profitable yet. And uh, for a company which is being run by 25 years now, and not just profitable, they were not even able to sell their products until year, until this year. So that that uh, uh, for a company that's which it's that old and you're not selling products, so you're just burning cash all along, and uh, that that's one negative aspect about the company. But again, they're focused on expansion. They're focused on uh, doing the research, and that's where they're uh, spending their cash on. Uh, the second thing is uh, because of the fact that they are into genetically modified salmon and uh, working with these GME, these uh, genetically engineered. Uh, animals and uh, fisheries that brings a lot of resistance for them and uh, one of the reasons they have been very they haven't been able to be in the market is because only a few years ago i think back in 2015 between 2015 and 2019 is when they got approval to even sell the market sell the salmon so until now they were not even allowed to be sold in the market. They had a lot of resistance uh, from politicians, uh, from FDA, from environmentalists. People did not want this product to be out. So they have they have had a lot of resistance in the past and they've been fighting that ever since. And they continue to do that. It's happening even now. Uh, recently, there was a new uh, report where uh, the, uh, the someone filed a complaint about these fishes jumping out into the ocean and uh, mixing and breeding with the uh, with the wild salmon, so that was another uh, factor which came out. So they they will be having these uh, resistance all along, and uh, people, environmentalists especially, uh, even politicians. Uh, they're disrupting. This is a disrupting technology, and ever and every time a company or like this or technology comes out in the market, they will have a lot of resistance, especially from the big players who are already in the market, the politicians and. The, uh, in this case, they also have the environmentalists who don't want a product like this. So they, they have a lot of uh, resistance already, uh, but, let's, and they, but they also have a lot of upside. So I this talk very exciting. So uh, the third aspect is, uh, like I said, the, next, the main focus of this company is there was an investor presentation very recently. And uh, Sylvia Wolf mentioned that the first priority for them is to open up the Kentucky plant. That's going to be the biggest plant, and they're going to be generating a lot of uh, uh, genetically modified salmon over there. My concern is a company like this, who, who is just getting into the market and they're just trying to grow, for them not to focus on the selling, they're more ex considering expansion. They're more looking at getting ready for the growth, which is a good thing uh, in one sense. But my point is, uh, instead of growing, why are you not looking into selling and increasing your distribution or at least expanding your distribution? So that's my uh, take. But again, uh, there could be many things going on. So the, I, I feel positive about this company and uh, there is a lot of room to grow. And if this company performs well, the stock could go very high. And uh, this company has a lot of catalysts in its play that it can use. And every new positive news can jump up the stock very high. So they have a huge growth potential, and that makes this stock very exciting. With that, I come to the conclusion of this video. I hope this information was helpful in making your own decisions. With that, you guys take care, stay safe, and if I'm helpful, please consider subscribing.